studio audience. Woo! Oh. Have your warm love wash over me. Oh. Disgusting, really. Hi kids, my name is Billy Francesca. Welcome to Hash It Out with Billy Francesca. I'm only saying my name twice. I'm not saying it a whole bunch of times. It gets annoying, doesn't it? Don't you kids get tired of it? Okay, let's help all of you make sense of this crazy place we call Earth. Did Adam have a belly button? Adam who? Adam Levine? Oh, he does. Um, do you mean Adam and Eve? Yeah. That was a rough weekend. I was like slithering around being like, hey Adam, how you doing? And then Eve's like, um, Adam, don't talk to that snake. I was like, bitch, you know how expensive this is? Go eat an apple. And then all hell broke. Loose. It was all, you did this, you did that. I was like, Noah, and then I was out. Um, but Adam did have a belly button, but he was uncaught. Oh man. So to answer your question, Adam had a belly button. Notice how I take the Bible and just make it seedy. Well, I'm in the Bible towards the back. <laughs> Cause the, uh, oh come on man, revelations. <laughs> come on man. Did you ever wear wigs? Ooh, that's a good, is that the wig you brought me to put on in my head? I'm not wearing that wig, that's terrible. Wasn't this a question from someone online? Yeah, that's somebody online. Somebody wrote in, did, you, did I ever wear wigs? And years ago, when I first started on my drag journey, back in the 1800s in a covered wagon, my name was Cheryl. And I did used to have long, gorgeous hair. Not really, it's always kind of looked a little. Let's try it on, let's do this. Give me this thing. I mean, why did you let him pick a wig? I didn't know what was happening. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh. Hi, I'm Amy Winehouse. Because <laughs> she used to have that bump and that, what, didn't she have that one piece? Three years sober, she's doing great. Um, <laughs> what? She's dead. I didn't kill her. All right, hold on. Just tie that up. Look at that bitch. I'm a very, it's like this. It's because of this. This gets you into a lot of places. And also on the no-fly list. So to answer your question, no, I don't wear wigs. <laughs> this must but what it'd be like to like I don't even look at this how do you wear a wig and like I guess I should ask Britney Spears this isn't working for me I can't really deal with this can I throw this off my head oh you know what that's what I used to do in clubs is throw them into the audience I would wear a wig at the clubs no I'm not putting another one on bitch you're getting one so to answer your question no motherfucker it's been like 15 motherfucking years since I've worn motherfucking wigs when you have a face this beautiful you don't need to decorate it with hair I mean look at me <laughs> Look at me in the ugly cam. I'm like a fucking model for a Petco. Okay, hold on. Let's put this back on. Okay, take this. Is it normal? Oh my god. I'm not even gonna read this. Why do you always write? Who lets him write questions? Did you see this? And you let him keep this in here? I didn't see that I'm gonna that show it to you. I did not I'm gonna see show that it to you and not read it. And I'm sorry, I'm not a lesbian. I don't know the answer to that. Oh. Lesbians and gay men get along just fine. As long as you agree with everything lesbians say, it's totally fine. Uh, let's go to our next question. That time Khloe Kardashian rear-ended me in the parking lot at Curves. Ugh. <laughs> Worst Tuesday ever. Picture this. I got a coupon to go to a free Curves. And as you know, a Curves is a ladies' workout area. And of course, being the rich white woman that I am, they want me to endorse their product. And I just get to the parking lot. I'm getting my Le Sport travel bag with my leg warmers in it and my white sneakers from Reebok and who rams into me but Khloe Kardashian. She's the big one, isn't she? And what was odd was she was in a, a mini sport, like it was really a tiny car. And when she got out of it, I did one of these. I thought there were gonna be like seven more like her coming out like a clown car. It was wonderful. Okay. Oh, this is audience feedback. I love it. From Hot 18 Brazil. Mm. Did this come with a photograph, maybe? Um, this is from Hot18 Brazil says, it would be helpful if you knew anything about at least half of the topics. You know what, Hot 18 Brazil? You're absolutely right, motherfucker. I don't know shit. But guess what I do know? I do know I have a YouTube channel and you don't. <laughs> Stop. Or maybe you do, do you? Could you tell your subscribers to subscribe to my page? It'd be really helpful. Well, that's our show for tonight. I'm gonna change outfits and have a cocktail. Please subscribe to my show, though I have no idea why you would, because you get no real information from it. <laughs> but it does help to pass the time while you're at Soup Plantation or at your day job working at Progressive Auto Insurance. Kids, have a nice night, day, afternoon, morning, something else. Where's my cocktail? My name's Billy Francesca, and yours isn't.